Welcome everybody to Recovery Machine, episode 21. Today we're interviewing Cassidy. She's an RN from the Lower Mainland. And Corey's going to uh, ask a few questions and get to know her and we'll go from there. Absolutely. Yeah. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Cassidy. Thanks for coming on and joining us for a conversation today. Thanks for having me. It's nice to have you. I, I personally really enjoy any time we can talk to someone with, uh, with lived experience uh, from a healthcare uh, profession within our, our region. It just kind of helps to fill in so many different types of, of individuals and, and different stories that may be helpful for our listeners. So it's great to talk to you. Um, just for our listeners, maybe if you want to start by telling us where you come from, um, what do you do for fun? What's your, what, is, what is a day in the life? when you're not working first, and then we'll get into your profession. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm Cassidy. I'm a registered, as you guys said, a registered nurse in the um, Lower Mainland. Um, I live in the um, Surrey North Delta area. Um, and when I'm not working, I'm generally with my dogs. I'm very outdoorsy, um, whether it's camping or rock climbing. Um, I'm always like, like to be outside or trying something new. I love food. Um, uh, and yeah, I don't know. I think that's that's pretty much sums me up for a day outside of the kind of work environment. Um, yeah, outside, I would say. Awesome. So uh, what got you into nursing and about how long have you been a, a registered nurse for? Um, so I got into nursing. I was just about done my bachelor's of science in biology and I couldn't decide what I was going to do after. I wanted to travel. I wanted to help people. Um, I loved patho and I remember one of my friends was like, or I, I wanted to teach as well. And I remember one of my friends was like, why don't you go into nursing? And I was like, oh, that's so funny that you say that because like my aunt's a nurse, my mom's a nurse, my stepsister's a nurse. My sister was going into med school at the time. Like there's healthcare prof professionals all over my family. And I was like, oh, that's a very interesting idea. Cause you can really, it opens so many doors for you. And I was like, oh, for sure. And, uh, I applied to um, BCIT, uh, and I got in and I graduated from BCIT, um, in 2014. And I started nursing as a med surge nurse. I did inpatient and outpatient oncology for four or five years. Um, and then in 2019, I transitioned into eMERGE nursing. I took the emergency program. And then since then, um, I've been working as an ER nurse and have been floating up to the ICU department kind of is sometimes when they need me. Um, and I'm currently in the middle of taking the ICU program. So that I've been nursing, yeah, since 2014. So I guess eight, eight ish years now um, as an RN with multiple different areas of kind of practice. Um, as a non nurse, could you explain uh, to us non-nurses what the uh, the first couple of things you said, you're a med, what was the? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> uh, med surgeon or so medical, surgical. So uh, an area in nursing where you don't need to kind of specialize after nursing school. It's kind of an area of nursing where um, you, it's a, a general floor where you can go to work. So um, it's low, low acuity, um, people coming out of surgery that are, you know, are pretty well go to these kind of floors. Um, yeah, it's generally just low acuity and your, your general medical floors with no kind of extra training required to work there. Okay. So probably where lots of students would start. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That was my starting place as well. So Cassidy, since 2014, we all know how much the world has changed since then. What, what changes within the profession of nursing could you identify off the top of your head? Oh my gosh, that's, that's a big question. Yeah, I, <clears throat> a, a lot. Uh, I mean, when I started nursing, uh, I mean, my eyes were probably a little bit more like kind of had blinders on, but I honestly don't remember the burnout being anywhere what it is today personally or from, from coworkers. Like I don't remember going to work and everybody being like, I'd rather jump off a bridge than coming to work where uh, as you know people would come back from a vacation when they when I started working and they'd be relaxed they'd be you know ready to come back to work and I find today people come back and they you know they still got that glazed look in their eyes and they're still not ready to come back acuity's gone up um so this level of sickness in patients 
Um, so our numbers are so much higher than they used to be, which means our ratios as a nurse. So we typically have more patients for nurses. And then with that burnout is less nurses. So your ratios go even higher. Um, and it's just, I find when I, I found when I started nursing, I was proud to say I was a nurse. Um, and today I still enjoy the profession, but I can't honestly say I'm proud to be a nurse anymore. It's just the hatred that I get from now, I shouldn't say hatred, but like just the, the, the pandemic was terrible. Like it was, it was super hard. And, you know, we went from being from heroes to, to, to not heroes. Um, so I, I'd say the esteem of the profession and the, the, um, the ownership of having a good profession is gone. Like, I just don't, I don't feel that anymore. Um, you know, pay used to be okay. Pay is not okay anymore. Mm. Um, everything used to be better. I honestly, I, I find, I just, it, I, I don't know when it specifically it happened. Like I do think the downfall kind of happened before the pandemic, but the pandemic kind of just kicked it into hyperdrive and really exposed all these kind of holes in our healthcare system. It really opened up um, a lot of problems and created a lot, a lot more problems. So um, yeah, I, everything's changed. I don't know. I don't know really what stayed the same. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're bang on with the uh, assessment of how things have kind of trended down. Uh, for me, I look at uh, like 2008, the Great Recession, uh, that time period right after then, it seemed that everything, be, there started to be kind of this trend of cutting corners um, from funding that was was normally coming down. All of a sudden, we were, there was less funding. There was kind of things started to be done in a way that was different. and it, I think that's when things started to loosen up as far as the medical system in general was, was concerned. And then, um, when, when the pandemic came along, it, it made us much less prepared for such an event. And, um, and here we are, I, it, it seems to be accelerating, but, uh, one quick thing, uh, you mentioned acuity going up. So you're, you're, you're saying that the general the baseline level of sickness of your patients or maybe the amount of care that they require is increasing. Uh, what is causing that? Or is that you're looking at that from the pandemic standpoint? Uh, I just uh, find since when I first started nursing that we're just getting more sick people all the time. Whereas as an emerge nurse, when I started even four years ago, it just didn't seem to have as many sick people all the time. And I don't, I don't honestly know what's mm -hmm. causing that. I don't know if I work at a hospital where people tend to come more or if it's because people push things off for the pandemic and weren't taking care of themselves um, or if it's lack of GP access and things have been brushed under and everything's just kind of spiraling at the same time. I don't, I don't really know, but like the, during the pandemic, obviously we saw so many sick people because of COVID. Um, but I, I find even after the pandemic, we're just seeing a, a lot of sick people. I mean, even just this last heat wave, we saw so many sick people with just the heat wave, but outside of that, I just find like, just elder people that have a lot of comorbidities are just, they're just getting sicker. And I don't, I don't mm. really know why I, I feel that there's more sick people, but it's just what I've experienced um, when I'm working. I, I think you're right. I mean, I'm not, I'm not working as a nurse any longer, but I, I could say over the last um, maybe five years, even, I think the thing that I observed was that, that the standard of what acuity the standard of acuity changed too. That so, as critical care areas filled up, as ICUs filled up, as critical care wards and cardiac wards filled up, they the, the system itself had to sort of be become a bit more flexible with what was an acceptable level of acuity mm. for a medical floor too. So I remember patients that you know when I first started my career that never would have gone to a medical floor, they were starting to just be bend that rule a little bit, and and medical nurses were taking on some pretty sick people, at least in, in the areas that I was working. Mm -hmm.